G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knackers Yard and it's experiment time. Now bearing in mind my last experiment was with, with the phone and the jury is still out slash deliberating slash condemning it because <laughs> it not really worked. Um, looking at the mudguard for the XJ650, um, it was fun. So I had a big rust spot in the middle, another one where on one of the sides. But my thinking is the brace, the middle bit, I've just hacked out basically so obviously that fits perfectly because it's designed to and my thinking is if I can get that on just a mini universal you know plastic even over the top just to give it something because I just think it looks a little bit bare ass like that and there are MOT well it is an MOT requirement as I understand it um, <coughs> excuse me uh, but obviously this bike's not going to get MOT'd but that's not to say that a policeman can't stop and say, where's your, <coughs> where's your mudguard? But loads of people, you know, put them on for MOTs and take them up afterwards. It's, you know, I don't think a cop is ever going to pull you over for it. Mine's aesthetic. Um, I just think it looks better with something. Um, so I'd like to reuse that if I can. Now, it's really badly rusted. Uh, I've had at it with the old um, uh, mop. Your paint removing mop. I've got rid of the worst, obviously there's bits that I just can't get to. So I thought I'd have a go at home electrolysis to get rid of it. Now I've seen a few videos on it, um, so I'm not going to do a massive how-to, but I want to give it a go because ultimately I'm probably going to try it on the insides of the tank. But I need to find a pot big enough to submerge that in, um, and then I'll clue you in from there. Right, so there we go, there's a bucket of warm water. And the reason I've used warm is because I'm going to try and dissolve a load of soda crystals in it, um, which uh, is not to be used. Don't use soda crystals in contact with aluminium, apparently. So soda crystals in, um, I was going to say chemical in it, I put it at the bottom because I can't remember. relatively difficult to source in the UK things like this. I know you can sort of get from most US department stores but actually um, I've got a little like home needs shop uh, at the top of the hill that does all this sort of stuff. And £2.50. Massive grumble. Uh, I've no idea how much to put in but that'll do. I'm give that a stir. Ideally not with my hand. Them. Right, now the theory is to then dangle your, uh, your subject in the water, ideally without it touching, well, without it touching, <laughs> I won't bother finishing that sentence, and then it is put the negative onto the actual item, the positive onto a sacrificial piece of metal, which I did have, but I think I'll just put this on top of. Sorry, slight interruption there, so sacrificial piece of metal, which is an old off-cut mine, um, negative onto that, positive onto that, onto a battery charger, and leave it doing its thing for about um, 24 hours or so. So, let's just give it a go. I think that's supposed to be slung, well no, I don't think it matters if that's in the actual elements or not. I don't know if that's supposed to be in the water, but surely the water's just going to, oh I don't know. Fuck it, let's just see if anything explodes when I plug it in. No, nothing's gone boom. Right, ooh bubbles. How cool is that? Just make sure that that is not touching what I'm trying to actually clean. I don't think that's going to help.
That's cool, it's making bubbles. Stay. Right, we'll leave that to do its thing, and I'll drop you back in at some later point. Now we could be on a bit of a winner here, because that's only about 20 minutes. And the state of that already. So, let's just let that carry on doing its thing. It's look like it's kind of going to trash my electrode. I think I'm going to get a longer bit of metal in there. <coughs> just so it doesn't ruin my um, charger. Right, so it's next day. I have uh, taken off my sac or unplugged it, taken off my sacrificial piece, and scraped it off twice uh, during the night. Um, still see it bubbling away quite nicely there. Um, I've also reorientated it a few times and spun it around because it does seem to, when you move it, uh, the bubbles come out at different places, so it does seem more active in different places. So. Um, uh, I don't have a free hand, so I'm going to put all this down, turn it off obviously, put it all down, and give it a quick clean off in the sink, and then we'll see how it looks. Right, so fresh out of the sink, and it's considerably better. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still quite fucked, but it was massively fucked beforehand. Um, the bit that it hasn't quite got to is the inside, but I, and I can't get to that with any other tooling, so I'm going to have a bit of a play and see if I can just bang it on for a bit longer uh, on the guts but no I'm I'm suitably impressed and you look at the amount of you know keck that's come off it because it's stuck to everything else now yeah uh, let's see, see if I can just rig something up to try and get on the inside a little bit I'm not entirely sure how I might just put it in that little white pot that way try and put the um, positive in the middle and it should um, make a smarter job and there we go a mini setup there with the positive element in the in the hoop if you like in the loop to see if I can get a little bit more action on the inside it does look like the um, the main energy if you like is where it's attached to the negative which is at the side at the moment but we'll have a look and see how this goes right so it's been in there for time about four or five hours i suppose um let's see we get on unplug it first now before we start sticking your hands in anything i should probably wear gloves but i'm not going to um one lesson is to not have your clips in the in the uh, water. Let's see what's come off on that. Now I have cleaned this off once today already. Look at that. That's impressive. So all of that shite has come from somewhere. Ugh. Oh, check that out. that now. that's incredible it's not like new but certainly got rid of a lot of crap now if I if through the powers of editing magic I can do a little bit of a before and after I'll try and chuck it in the corner or something pretty damn good um, now obviously I'm still going to put some, you know, like rust stopper, you know, uh, hammerite rust stop stuff on it. But I think that's salvageable. So as far as his utilisation on the project's concerned, I'm looking at anything I can throw over it as an example. Normally, because there's crap all over my floor, it's just to buy, you know, a uh, universal. Um, Indicate, in, indicator, yeah. universal mug guard, uh, ideally a length that will go from there to there, well, a little bit more than that, um, and just hold it on with that, which means I do need to do something to clean up the sides, but once I've got those cleaned up a bit I'll have a look, it may have to be a uh, 
resort to at Elboy Filler. Um, but I think that's salvageable and usable. Right, so home electrolysis rust removal. Another little tick in the box of things what I have done, and things that you can do really simply and death defyingly cheaply. And now particularly on element on bits like you know, there is no way I would have got a grinder in there to grind away at the stuff. Absolutely not a chance. And actually it's done a brilliant job. And it means that I can reuse a forty plus year old bit of metal, put a, uh, put a new cap on it and use it to hold a new mud guard. All good in the hood. Cheers all. Catch you later on. Ta-da. Thank you.